Why don't you say something? What's there to say? Did you ever really expect to see her this way? Henry, what do you suppose it's like to be dead? I'm sure I don't know. What are you going to do? Call the police. Hello, operator. Police department, please. Dear Aunt Mildred. I just thought of something amusing. I think I shall miss her. Uh, police department, I'd like to report an accident. A suicide, Henry, a suicide. Uh, well, actually, a suicide. Mrs. Eldridge. No, I don't know exactly. 210 Manchester Heights Road. Henry Jennings. Yes, I'll be waiting. Well? Well, nothing to do now but wait, is there? Henry, I've been thinking. Don't. How about a drink? Not now. It's just occurred to me. Do you mind if I have one? No. Darling, how should I act when the police arrive? On second thought, I... I think I'll wait. Imagine. Crying about Aunt Mildred. It really is important how I act. If I cried, there wouldn't be any tears, I know it. Then I just wouldn't cry, dear. What about laughing? They could mistake it for hysteria. Florence, do you really have to do something? But of course, darling. I couldn't just do nothing. They wouldn't expect that. Or would they? What are you going to do? Get some music. Henry, why is it that whenever I want to talk to you, you always manage to become interested in something else? I'm listening, dear. Well, not, not really. If the radio disturbs you, I'll turn it off. Oh, it's all right. Leave it on. It's not what I meant anyway. You're not lighting another cigarette, are you? They should be here soon. I still haven't made up my mind how I should act. Just relax, Florence. Relax? I'm perfectly relaxed. Why don't they get here and get this over with? Henry, listen. What was that? It's the clock in the hall. Five o'clock. Mine's a minute early. Henry, maybe we made a mistake. It was too simple to make a mistake. But we could have missed some little detail. It's the details that count. I took care of everything. I was very methodical. Henry, I just thought of something. Maybe Aunt Mildred couldn't have fallen in that position. Aunt Mildred fell out of the wheelchair without any help. She's lying in her own natural position. What about the glass? Did you think of that? It might have broken when it fell out of her hand. Maybe we should break it. The glass wouldn't break on the rug. Florence, will you please sit down? You're getting nervous. I'm not nervous. But do you know what? I actually believe I'm afraid. The palms of my hands are perspiring. There's nothing to be afraid of. What should I tell them, Henry? I don't even know what to tell them. Well, just answer the questions. But I can't do that. I'd say the wrong thing. I know I would. What are you going to say, Henry? I'm going to tell them what happened. What did happen? I didn't actually see it, you know. Aunt Mildred imagined she was an invalid. 
Remember how she was talking about it? And just this morning, she asked me to get her the sleeping pills. Didn't she? Yes. Of course, I never suspected that she was going to take an overdose of them. But she did. Didn't she? Yes. We saw her take them. No. We didn't see her take them. We didn't? Where were we, Henry? You were in the greenhouse when it happened. You were cutting some flowers, weren't you? I don't want to say that. If I was in the greenhouse, someone might have seen me. Which is a very nice alibi, isn't it? I see what you mean. Yes, it is. How very clever of you, dear. Then you were in the greenhouse, weren't you? Yes, I was. I, I was cutting flowers. Exactly. Shouldn't they be here by now? Henry, put down that book. How can you read at a time like this? It's a very fascinating novel. When are you going to finish it? I want you to talk to me. In a moment, dear. You used to talk to me. We'd sit for hours and talk and talk. Whenever we went out dining, we'd talk. Now you never say anything to me anymore. I'm listening, dear. You can talk to me. Do we have to stay in this room? What's the matter with it? It's a very charming room. I'm getting tired of seeing her lying there on the floor. Does it really bother you? No. First thing I want to do is wear her diamond pin. It's a kind of retribution for all the times I've asked her to let me wear it, and she wouldn't. It's all right now, isn't it? I suppose so, in a few days. I wonder what else she has hidden away. Do you know something? We don't even know how wealthy she is. She could be worth billions, and we wouldn't know it. I know how much money she's worth. You do? I didn't know that was there. Aunt Mildred thought I didn't know either. But I did. This is her will. She's worth about $300,000, and it all goes to us, unless we're not around to collect it. Then it goes to some charity. $300,000, that much? Why, we're... We're almost millionaires. Are we? Think of it. To be rich. Oh, Henry, everything is suddenly opening up for us. All the plans we've made, that trip to Paris. I've wanted to go to Paris ever since I can remember. Well, now we can go, can't we? I suppose so. Next month? Oh, it'll be October. Paris must be lovely in October. We'll book passage on the Queen Mary. And I'll wear her diamond pin with a beautiful new evening gown. And dance after dinner. And dance. And dance. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've laughed and danced together. How long has it been? Years and years and years. Have you ever thought about it, Henry? About what, dear? Here we are. Just this side of middle age. What sort of fun have we had? We haven't had any. We've been waiting for her to die. Waiting to get rich. Waiting out our lives. Oh, Henry, I've just thought of something extremely funny. Do you know how we've been waiting all these years? Do you realize what we're doing now? We're waiting, waiting for the police to come, waiting for them to take us away. Oh, Henry, we've made a big mistake. They'll know we did it. Oh, why don't they come? Why don't they come?
Here, Florence. Drink this. You're getting all upset over nothing, dear. I'm sorry it was silly of me. Oh, it's all right. Everything will turn out fine. I wish I had your strength and confidence. Just don't worry. I'm ashamed of being so weak. But I don't know what's been the matter with me lately. I, I just don't seem to be able to get things straight the way they should be. You know what I mean. You do understand, don't you? Yes, I understand, dear. You can be so affectionate when you want to be. Yes, dear. Henry. Do you know how I'm going to act when police arrive? I'm not going to do anything. If they ask questions, I'll pretend I don't hear them. They'll think it's sharp, won't they? Don't you think that's the best way? I wouldn't worry about it one way or the other, dear. Henry, why are you always such a wet blanket? Am I? You are, and you know it. I'm sorry? I think you do it maliciously. I'm not aware of it, dear. Don't be cross with me. But it's like getting up to a certain point and then finding there isn't any place to go. It's stifling. I imagine it would be. Oh, don't be angry with me. If I'm irritable, it's because I'm frightened. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. Please come back here and talk to me. In a moment, dear. Henry. Have you had the feeling that all this has happened before? I just had that sensation. It's as if I were a thing apart and could see all that's happening now. I could see you standing there at the desk. I could see me here, frightened and alone. It's an omen. It's as if Aunt Mildred were alive and I'm dead. And you're dead too, Henry. We're both dead now. The summer. <laughs> but what a pity. We were so methodical. Florence. We're dead, Henry. Oh, you haven't realized it yet, but I have, I know. Florence, for heaven's sake. Somewhere you missed a little detail. You don't know what it is, but they will, and they're coming to take us away. There are no details. Oh, but there are. You don't understand. It's too late now, anyway. You're wrong, dear. Well, Henry, why do you keep saying I'm wrong? Because they're not coming. What do you mean, not coming? I didn't call the police, Florence. But you did call them. I saw you call but them. But I didn't. I only pretended to call them. Why? Why did the you... The detail. I forgot a little detail. Oh, thank heaven, Henry. It was intuition, remember? I reminded you of it. Yes, you reminded me of it, Florence. I have you to thank for that, dear. Well, don't keep me waiting. Tell me, what was it? The detail? Yes, what was it? You, Florence. I thought so. I've been a drag on you, haven't I? Not always. But you are now. But you did love me once, didn't you? Yes. Very much. What happened? I don't know. I wish we'd never had anything, anything at all. And at least we'd have had each other. It wasn't the money. It was always the money, Henry. Had breakfast with us every morning and slept in our thoughts at night. Well, you'll have it now. What about the police? What are you going to tell them? I'll think of something. You could tell them that I poisoned Aunt Mildred and then tried to shoot you. But you tried to get the gun away from me and I shot myself. It's plausible. Do me a favor. If I can. Kiss me. It's not easy to kiss a woman one minute and shoot her the next. You mean you're not equal to it? That's not the point. It's just... To Congress. <laughs> you think I'm not going to do it, don't you? I was thinking of something else entirely. Goodbye, Florence. Au revoir, Henry. Are you through with all your foolishness now, Henry? But you're still... Alive? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, I am alive. But I... There were only blanks in that gun, Henry. There are no blanks in this one, believe me. Yes. I believe you. 
You had this plan, didn't you? Well, in advance. You don't think I would have died so magnanimously, do you? It was quite a surprise. And all those shots. If I was supposed to be a suicide, I couldn't possibly shoot myself with every bullet in the gun. Well, it was such a shock, you standing there with me shooting at you. I assure you, it was a much greater shock from my point of view. What are you going to do now? I am going to shoot you. You mind if I have a drink? I could stand one. Not at all. Just in case you're curious, I simply included your plan in my own. Except for the little details. I didn't bother with them. And now you expect me to believe that you're serious. Have you ever seen me like this before? Well, frankly, no, I never have. And that should answer your question. It isn't every woman that has the opportunity to be shot by her husband. When did you put the blanks in the gun? This afternoon, remember? Just before I went into the greenhouse. Which all goes to prove that men never know what they're married to. And the wives? When did the masquerade start? Years and years ago. You wouldn't even remember. Your mind was off somewhere, foundering in money. And I sort of drifted off to myself, and that's where I've been ever since. One cozy little monologue after another. What are you going to do? Call the police. I think it's about time they arrive, don't you? Florence, you don't know what you're doing. We can still get out of this. We, Henry, I wasn't aware that you were to be included. Police department, please. Florence, you're throwing away our lives. What lives? We've never had any lives. Remember what I said about being dead? Desk sergeant, please. I believe you're getting nervous. Calm down, dear. Just relax. Desk sergeant, Mrs. Florence Jennings speaking. There's been an accident at 210 Manchester Heights Road. Would you please send over a patrol car and an ambulance right away? Thank you. Well, I'll have to give you credit, Florence. Up until now, you've been very clever. But calling the police was a stupid thing to do. Just like you, Henry. You still don't understand, do you? Understand what? That I am going to shoot you. Nonsense, Florence. You couldn't kill a fly. But I can you, and I have excellent reasons. Don't back away, Henry. I suppose this is it? Not quite. I just want to look at you. You're still very handsome. You were always proud of that, weren't you? Tell me. Have the years been kind to me? You're still very beautiful, if that's what you mean. As beautiful as when I married you? <laughs> Woman's vanity. Tell me, Henry. No. And what a silly thing to ask. But with the money, I might be able to pick up another husband someplace, mightn't I? Over my dead body. Careful, Henry. That's just what it's likely to be, and sooner than you expect. Darling, will you please drop the dramatics? Why? Because I want to kiss you. Why? Because I love you. Why? Because for the first time in my life, someone has completely set me back on my heels. Poor reason, Henry, and just like you, very selfish. Hang the reason, then. I love you. You are perfectly willing to kill me. I must have been mad. Please, let me kiss you just once more. No, I'm susceptible to your kisses. Nice of you to admit. Stay back, Henry, I warn you. I know. You're going to shoot me. You're trying to play on my emotions. You're attractive to me, and you know it. Yes, I know it. It's not enough. Are you sure? Congratulations. You... You didn't believe me, did you? It's all right. Are you... Are you in much pain? Help me. Question. 
Why didn't you do this a long time ago? You had every right. I kept hoping you'd change. Only a while ago, I thought Aunt Mildred's dead. The one who's been between us in happiness all these years. I thought you'd suddenly wake up. I thought you'd take me in your arms and hold me. It would have been worth all those years. Your top forms. Sorry, I missed your expectations. It wasn't your fault, really. It's just the way things came out, that's all. Strange. All those years. Waiting for Aunt Mildred to die. And all the time, we had so much more waiting in each other. Never knew it. Oh, I knew it. But I could never seem to get through to you. You wouldn't talk to me. Uh, it's over now. Joke's on me. me. I know it now. It's over. And the funny part is that coincidence stepped in to have the final jest. What do you mean? Aunt Mildred had a heart attack. I didn't give her the bottle of pills. She died naturally. <laughs> This is very good. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll remember you to Paris, Henry. To dining on the Queen Mary. To dancing after dinner. That's for you, Aunt Mildred. You pay the final tribute. I'll wear the diamond pin. Oh, see how it sparkles. Isn't it beautiful, Henry? It's like stars. important to a woman how she acts. Maybe I should cry. Or laugh. 